Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 43 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about a plugin for Lightroom called the Fader. Those of you that might use Lightroom presets probably realize that on one image, a preset might work beautifully. But then on another image, it might be too strong or it might be too weak. And you probably wish there was some way you could adjust the strength of the effect for that preset. Well, with the fader, you're able to do that. Now, I have no affiliation with the fader. I don't know the people who created it, and they're not paying me for this video or anything like that. It is a shareware plugin. So you could download it for free and use it for free. Uh, they ask if you do use it that you pay $10. And if you do pay the $10, it will unlock some more functionality of the uh, plugin and we'll talk about that in a minute now it's put out by capture monkey at capturemonkey.com and i will have the link below so you could click right through to this website if you're interested in trying out the fader now i'm just going to show it to you in action i have this image here it's a raw file it's not processed at all um, and we're just going to apply a preset to it now you know typically you would just go over in the left panel of the develop module and you go to your preset tab and you'd apply a preset and hopefully you're using Anthony M's presets but with the use of the fader you're doing this slightly different what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the file menu and we're gonna go down to plugin extras and we're gonna go to the fader and you could see right here this little dialog box pops up and I'm gonna put it up here towards the left so we could see the image a little better first you're gonna do is pick the folder that contains the preset that you want to use in my case we're gonna use Anthony M's presets all right there's of course all six of my packages but we'll use Anthony M's presets and we'll just try a couple different presets now one preset that I know is very very strong right out of the box is um, sports desaturated strong and you can see when I apply that preset it's a very strong effect it has a heavy vignette and it sucked a lot of the color out of the image now you can see here we have this opacity slider and those of you that use Photoshop know that with layers you could adjust the opacity of a layer and that's pretty much what we're doing with the fader so you can see it's at 100 now when you apply a preset it will uh, default to 100 and that's the uh, preset as though you weren't using the fader at all so it's at 100 we could make it stronger by moving to the right or we could in this case we would want to back it off a little bit maybe maybe right in there so we brought the opacity down to 60 and you could see um, you wouldn't be able to do that typically and that's why I think this is such a great plug-in for Lightroom now let's try something else let's go to another real strong one how about an old image with grain and you can see that it gives that old time look to the image but maybe that's a little too strong for you so we'll back that off a little bit and maybe that's a little more to your uh, like now uh, let's try something else I don't know let's go to uh, one of my favorites uh, street light enhance um, actually I kind of like it the way it is but let's say we want to make this one stronger just go to the right and we're making the sky more painterly so we move that one to the right so um, it's pretty cool like I said I really really think that this um, plugin is very effective works great I'm gonna click cancel now I wanted to show you I mentioned that if you do donate the ten dollars to them that it will unlock some more features and to do that we're gonna to go to file and we're gonna to go to plugin manager and we're going to go down to the fader which is right there and you can see registration I registered mine uh, but this preferences are available only in the registered version and you can see there's a, a couple different checkboxes and the one checkbox I want to show you is show toggle for each section now I think this is pretty powerful too we're going to click done and then we're going to go up and we're going to add a preset to this again we'll go to the fader again and let's go to um, uh, do, 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 Instagram look all right there's this Instagram look but you can see here we have these checkboxes and these are the checkboxes when I created this preset that I did and you could toggle these off or on one by one and I think that's well worth the ten dollars right there just to get this 
uh, functionality in the plugin. So that I just wanted to show you that because uh, I think it's a pretty cool uh, cool thing uh, to do. Now on this image though, let's see soft focus. See that might be too soft for you, so we'll back that off a little bit. And um, there's only two things here that the vignette and uh, the basic would take off a lot of that soft focus. But some things you could try. Um, on this one too, I still like street light enhance or street light enhance, yes, on that. Um, and then you just click OK. And then you're done. So that's it. That's the fader. Uh, again, I'll have the link below to their website, uh, CaptureMonkey.com. Um, and try it out. I think you'll like it. All right. That's it for episode 43. I'll talk to you guys soon.